Welcome to Philip Highlights. I'm Summer and I'll be serving you the latest news of the week. Your news, our business. The US federal government's budget deficit hit $1.165 trillion for the first eight months of the fiscal year, a 173% increase from a year ago. The deficit for the month of May was $240 billion, according to data released on 12 June by the Treasury Department. That's more than double the deficit in May 2022. Year-on-year -year comparisons are adjusted to account for calendar differences. The US has been spending more than it's generated for 20 years. Budget deficit will not create worsening impact to the stock market as long as the deficit to GDP ratio remains manageable. As of December 2022, the deficit to GDP ratio was 5.2%, a healthy ratio. The German economy could grow between 1.6% to 1.9% next year, Economy Minister Robert Habeck said on 12 June. We expected economic growth of 0.4% for this year in 2024. We think we could get back to growth of 1.6%, 1.9%, so slowly reaching the normal rates again, Habeck said in a speech at the East German Economy Forum in the state of Brandenburg. Recall that the Eurozone recorded a negative GDP growth of 0.1%, dragged by Germany, which has contracted for a second consecutive quarter. We are unsure whether the forecast is accurate, but a recession is always followed by an expansion. The People's Bank of China cuts its seven-day reverse repurchase rate by 10 basis points from 2% to 1.9%, according to a central bank release, injecting 2 billion yuan through its seven-day repose. A repurchase agreement is a form of short-term borrowing for dealers in government securities. This is China's first move since August. The recovery of China has not been as smooth as expected. It is timely that China began to stimulate the economy again. Malaysia's total trade surged by 27.8% to 2.8 trillion ringgit in 2022 versus 2.2 trillion ringgit in the year before, said the Department of Statistics Malaysia. Export grew 25% to 1.6 trillion ringgit in 2022, compared with 1.2 trillion ringgit in 2021, while imports rose by 31.3% to 1.3 trillion ringgit against 987.3 billion ringgit a year before, it said in a statement in conjunction with the release of Malaysia External Trade Statistics by State 2023 report. The strong export data has not been reflected in the stock market. With low valuation and strong economic data, we deem Malaysian market attractive. While this year is expected to be more favourable for investment than the previous year, it is important to stay watchful for any market volatility. Philip Capital Malaysia provides a comprehensive list of products, including discretionary private managed account and unit trusts that are offered to retail investors, high net worth individuals, corporations and institutions. Whether you want to DIY, seek for advice or let the expertise fully handle your portfolio, our platform can cater to your needs and preferred way to achieve your financial goals. That's all for today. Stay tuned for the next Philip Highlights. This update is brought to you by Philip Capital, your partner in finance.